This is the taper attachment off of my Monarch 10 EE and I wanted to show you this video just um, it's what I've been uh, working on this week but uh, I, I, because there's some people out there that have this same attachment and they don't have the part that adjusts the attachment which is was my problem so I thought this might be helpful to some other people. The one that it comes with it's really complicated. It's got a lot of gears in there and you can buy a micrometer head for it and all of that. Um, but this one I designed uh, and made and it's, it's going to work. I mean it's not as elegant as the other but um, it, it was much easier to make. So what I did was I bought this uh, micrometer spindle off of eBay for $15. It's a brown and sharp uh, micrometer head. Then I just made this holder for it, and this because what ha this gear comes on the end of this or this rack comes on the end of this originally, and then there's gears that mesh with that and make it work. So the way this one works is is you turn this spindle and it'll give you minute adjustment against this screw head. Let me zoom you in here. You turn the, that and it gives you a minute amount of travel. Now this spindle is not long enough to do the entire travel so uh, I have to flip this block over in order to... Right, this will get me halfway and then if I need the other half, what that does is half, half of the travel of this gives you a taper in one direction and, and the other half gives you... <laughs> well, yeah. The this taper attachment, half the travel gives you a taper in this direction and the other half gives you the taper in that direction. So depending on which side of uh, I'm working on, if I'm trying to do an internal taper or an external taper or what, I really only need half the travel. So this, this works in that it does, it's got one inch of travel and you really need like two to do the full range, but one inch of travel will do one side of the taper or the other side of the taper. So depending on what, to, what side I'm working on, I can have the block in this position or I can unscrew it and flip it over and it'll do the other side. So that actually works both ways. Another way I could improve this would be to put, if I had a spring on it so it kept hard tension against that, but when I adjust it, I'll just have to keep tension on it like that in order to get the adjustment. What I was finding was um, is when I would try to adjust it before you know I was having to just kind of give it little light taps with a hammer or something like that and I couldn't get those minute uh, adjustments that I needed and I think this is going to take care of that problem. Okay so the rest of this video I'm just going to kind of show you how I made this block and put the thing together um, so you may or may not be interested in that that's what the rest of the video is. So if you're going to stop here, I say thank you for watching. If not, I'll see you till the end of the video. Okay, so this is the layout uh, for the micrometer holder uh, for this. And I have uh, put some layout die on two sides and one end of this block of aluminum. Okay, so I'm going to start out by setting this to um, three quarters of an inch. None of these dimensions are just really critical. Just scribe a line there. Okay. And then I'm going to define that bottom edge right there, which is 150. And give that a scribe. All right, the other dimension I want to get at this time is I want to narrow this down to, uh, it's got to be 700 wide. And scribe it. All right, so I just got to drop it down to that line. Okay, now we're going to drop it down. Now, my line for this one is right at the jaw. So, I'll actually just make that part just a little bit thicker. It won't make any difference.
Well, I'm not real happy with that end down here, but I'm kind of afraid to go any lower. I'm afraid I might hit my vise, so I think I'm going to leave it. Okay, I've got it moved up uh, 338 thousandths from the bottom and in half the width of this, which is uh, 350. All right, now we're going to drill one size under uh, 3 eighths. All right, now we're going to ream 3 eighths. Okay, I'm now set up to uh, drill the clamping screw. Okay, so I finished drilling the tap size for the 1024 screw. Now what I'm doing is I'm going to, I need the first half of this to be a through hole for the screw. So I'm going to drill down halfway. So that is uh, 350. All right, so this is the size of the head of my screw. Now, I don't have an end mill or a countersink. So, uh, you know, counterbore. So I'm going to have to use this drill. All right, so now I'm just tapping it 1024. Okay, so I had to get a little creative to hold this thing at the right angle and be able to uh, slit it. So I'm hoping it doesn't come loose on me. All right, so I've got the blade even with the top. So I gotta go down 350 or come up 350. I'm drilling the holes to uh, hold this down. This is just a through uh, bit for, this is a, a 832 countersunk screw. All right, well, <clears throat> this has got it finished. Um, I made this little block right here, um, and you can see it's just got a screw sticking out the end of it. Let me zoom you in here a little bit. There we go. All right, so this micrometer spindle only has a travel of one inch, and you need about two inches in order to take up the full swing. So the compromise for that was I made this block that um, you can see the screw in here and the micrometer just runs against the head. Pull it out there. It just runs against the head and that's where your adjustment comes in. And that gets me the first half of the travel. If I need the other half instead, I can take these screws off and flip this over and it'll give me the other half of the travel. So. Uh, this one piece is act will actually take care of it for me. But, um, you know, again, the, the intention is not really to be able to use this to set by reading the dial to be able to set anything. It's to have the, the control of being able to move it in tiny increments in order to uh, get the setting that I need. And like I said, I'm sure nobody uh, out there is probably ever going to make one of these. Uh, I wanted to do the video just to kind of show you what I was doing this week and also um, to, because a lot of people have this uh, taper attachment and they don't have the mechanism that you use to adjust it, like in the same case that I, I am. And it took me a long time to 
uh, think about what I might do and I came up with a lot of complicated ways and then finally I decided you know I think this will take care of it so anyway I hope this was somewhat interesting to you thank you for watching